test in one, two, three, test. Oh, look at this hair. Have you guys come to a point where it's just like, who like, who really cares? <laughs> what is going on? What is happening? Have you guys ever looked at a photo and thought to yourself, whoa, how did he do that? How? How did they get that? For me, there's an artist who goes by the name of Harris Newcomb, and basically all of his portraits, all of his art, like does that for me. And for the longest time, I had no idea how he did it because he's an artist based here in London, and he just takes loads, these really elaborate, really action-packed, sort of violent, really uh, like just crazy portraits. You know, and in these difficult times, I've been asked by his several other fellow youtubers you know how do you say creative and basically it's the long short of it just copy just copy other people copy people who are better than you obviously don't plagiarize what what i mean by that is to try to reverse engineer you know that person's work and by doing so you'll learn something you'll and therefore you'll expand your toolbox of skills so for today's video i'm going to be creating my own self portrait um inspired by harris newcomb now, obviously, obviously, just from the sample images that I showed you of his, you'll see that it, you know, he uses a lot of props, a lot of elaborate sets and outfits and makeup and hair and, and so on and so forth. And you know, that's something I just, believe it or not, I don't have. The one thing I will try to emulate is sort of the skin textures that he achieves in his, in his portraits. And this was the, this is the part of his images that I just did not understand how he achieved this really unique skin texture, this really unique skin look. It looks like a cartoon, sort of a comic book, but at the same time it looks real. And I just had no idea what was going on. At first I thought it was just heavy dodging burning, but it's a lot more than that. You don't get that texture from just lightening and darkening. However, I finally figured out, well, I finally found out how to do it after I came across this Photoshop tutorial. The looks I was going for for today were basically just close up portraits of just my face, just sort of like close up. Close up headshots. Um, I wanted it to be quite simple, just a one light setup because that's, you know, that's basically all I have. I've only got one light. Um, I wanted to um, incorporate some light, so I used a red gel. So I had my Godox V1 flash positioned um, at two o'clock to me and facing down um, at a 45 degree angle. I also uh, mounted the softbox over it and I mounted the whole thing onto the AC stand. I was using the XC3 and I was using the 18 to 55 mil and I was shooting it at 55 mil because I really wanted that nice compression and I wanted to get nice and close up to my face. And so in terms of poses, I just kept it nice and simple. So I'm just gonna quickly show you guys how it adds to the images. Um, I'm just gonna show you one of them. Basically the whole point of this video is just to try something new, just to take the time to actually learn new skills. Like yes, this isn't like the most groundbreaking images, they're not like anything I'm gonna put into my portfolio, but the whole reason, the whole point of this video was just to learn something new. I've been dying to learn how to do that exact skin texture, that skin look, and yeah, and there's no better person to try it on than yourself. If it goes wrong, then it's like no big deal. I have, as I'm filming this, I have no idea what they look like. So <laughs> I'm filming this bit before I actually edit the photos. So hopefully they look pretty good. Hopefully it worked out. <sighs> the channel's slowly but surely growing. We're so close to a thousand subscribers. Oh my God. I am massively grateful to all of you who have hit that subscribe button and to all of you who actually watch the videos all the way through. Damn, it's hard to get these watch time hours up. Freak. That new camera that I mentioned in a past video that's on its way. Um, yeah, follow me on Instagram at Zane Shoots Film. I post on Instagram daily, apart from on the weekends, just give myself a little break. I upload to this channel twice a week, so if you enjoy what you watch, then hit that subscribe button. 
check out my portfolio at zaynreason.com and the links for everything that I've shot with today will be downstairs. Uh, anything else? Comment something nice down below. Hope the audio sounds a lot better this time around. Keep learning, keep shooting. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.